Shanchi in here for a severe MMA and we're just two days away from the huge trilogy between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier. Our guy Tio Lander is on the ground over in Las Vegas and he asked some of the undercard fighters from that card who they think will win, McGregor or Poirier. Here's what they said. Obviously, the last fight, this is the trilogy. Uh, I think the person that had to do the most changing out of both of them is Conor McGregor. He's got to get back to his movement. He got back into that, you know, he was into that boxing phase for a while and um, started standing there in front of somebody like Dustin Poirier. He's going to take advantage of it. So I believe Conor McGregor gets back to his movement, his old self. He's got to fight in the back for sure. Ooh, I'm a fan of both. I like both guys, but uh, I think McGregor has to win, huh? Like, to keep him, uh, keep him up there. So we'll go McGregor. I want to see McGregor so bad, bro, just because I'm a McGregor fan, but I'm formerly a part of the ATT gang, man, and Dustin Poirier is a savage, so we got to go with Poirier. I think Conor is going to win, and I think he realized that he, to perform, he needs to be ready every time, and I think he's going to show this for this fight. I don't know. It's going to be a tough one. The question is, even... even it's the same question when I was trying with Vitor, Vitor Belfort at the beginning. Which Vitor is going to show up? That was the question right? when Vitor was fighting. And that's the same question with Connor. Which Connor is going to show up? Uh, that's the question, but I don't know. I don't like both guys. Are, I'm from I'm Brazil. They've been throwing it. Dustin Poirier right there. I like Dusty style a lot. I like Conor too. People hate a lot of Conor, but I like the way he fights. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be a good one. I'm going to be watching. I'm Team Dustin. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, as a fan, I'm excited. You know, they're you know, two, you know, two incredible uh, uh, mixed martial artists, you know, really kind of at the pinnacle of their careers. Um, you know, in a trilogy. You know, it's just, what is this? The the rubber match, you know, uh, yeah, and I mean, hell of a fight, hell of a fight, really. And I'm, I'm a big fan of both, the, both the fighters. So, I got Poirier, man. I, you know, Connor, you know, I, don't, I really don't think that first fight six years ago really means anything, especially with with him trying to get in his head and Connor really, you know. Poirier even mentioned that he did get into his head and kind of took him off base. But the way that Conor lost his last time, I mean, he had good moments in the beginning, but it was like a beatdown at the end of that fight. And then um, you know, I think there's going to be a great fight. Um, I, you know, Conor is obviously, we know who Conor is and what he's done. This, the sport wouldn't be what it is at this point were it not for Conor McGregor. And that's, that's, just, the, that's just the truth. Dustin Poirier is a fantastic champion in his own right and has come so far. It's neat to see sometimes when people, you know, they meet early on in their career. And, you know, because you're always, people are, they were both trending upwards at that time and, and continue to. But it's uh, a lot of things have happened in that way. Um, it's neat to see how both have grown. Um, Connor has, has altered the landscape in a very real way, but he also adjusted the landscape on a, on a technical and tactical level in a certain regard. And it was interesting to see him uh, move away from that in his last fight. Um, his most recent fight, obviously, he's been getting himself in boxing uh, more, and he, you know, was maybe having his eyes on on a boxing match as well. But the reality is, this is not a boxing fight. This is not a grappling match. This is not a uh, kickboxing match. Even though it can oftentimes two people can get in there, and they almost look like they made an unspoken agreement to do that thing, and uh, it'll end up looking similar. It doesn't have to be that way. And uh, you know, I think that that was a an interesting, you know, exclamation mark on the last fight because it looked like one person had an idea that he was going to go in there and run somebody over and then the other guy decided that this was an MMA fight. Um, both people have great technical resources, both are very tough guys. Um, I'm looking forward to a fantastic fight and I'm sure that Connor will make some adjustments and that when he does, um, Dustin will make counter adjustments. I would just say that, uh, you know, I think this sport's a very interesting place with Conor McGregor in it, so I'd like to see him stick around for as long as possible, Dustin as well. I'm just looking forward to a great main event. Thanks, Ryan. Sure. I think uh, I think Connor gets it done. I think um, it's such a tricky fight. It's, it's a tricky fight. Me say, even just saying that right now, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe goes into later rounds and does it. I don't know, man. I, I think uh, I think Connor gets it done.